What's up, guys? Thanks for watching another Jaguars United film breakdown. I'm super pumped because today we're breaking down the newest Jaguars linebacker free agent, Foisady Alukin. And I really like this guy's gameplay a lot, and I think you will too. So make sure to stick around for the film breakdown. Before we do that, though, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow all of the social media stuff uh, so you get updates on when we do all of the other film breakdowns on prospects and free agents and, and all of the other things Jaguars. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before we jump into the film, I just want to say a couple things about Foisady Lucan and, and, and why I actually like him a lot. I was going to originally just put him in with the video with another prospect and do like a kind of double prospect video. But after watching his film, I wanted to give him his own all to himself because I was so impressed. I mean, this guy's story is just super impressive. I mean, he's, his parents are Nigerian. Uh, he went to Yale. Real smart guy. Was drafted in the sixth round by the Falcons. And the guy is incredibly athletic. I mean, he was a he was a safety in high school, linebacker in, in college. I mean, the guy just played a lot of different positions. And you can see it when you watch his film. With 64 games in Atlanta, he has 454 total tackles. That's five sacks, 11 pass breakups. And in 2021, he led the NFL with 192 tackles. He's the only player in the NFL to actually record 170 tackles and three interceptions in a season. Uh, those 170 tackles were good enough for seventh most tackles in NFL history. And I understand that the game is a season longer now, but still, I mean, at 6'2", 229, he ran a 4'5", 40 yard dash at his pro day, a 4'12", 20 yard shuttle, and a 37 inch vertical jump, 123 inch broad jump. I mean, this guy is incredibly athletic and you're going to see on the film why that athleticism helps him so much but enough talk let's get to the film and just take a look at at, at who he is um this is from the end zone film which i always love to see foy shady right here i mean the dolphins are in a spread formation here so foy shady pretty much has the middle of the field all to himself he's gonna he's responsible for everything in the middle of the field at the snap now two is gonna uh, make a pretty horrible throw here and he's gonna throw it right to him but i mean how many times have we seen defenders have the ball thrown right to him and they drop it Right. Soft hands makes a good play. But what I want to show you here on this play that I just love about him is is watch his footwork. I mean, a big thing about linebackers is their footwork. Um, and look at so watch his footwork and watch his ability to flip his hips in the pass. Flip, flip, plant, go. I mean, that's again you could tell this guy did D B drills a bunch because those are the exact things that you work as a defensive back, whether it's a W drill, um, whether you're going on the ball and the whistle, like this type of movement here, I mean, that's smooth. That's smooth and accelerating. I mean, I talked about his speed at the beginning. I mean, if if you like speed in your linebackers, you're going to love this guy. Great instincts, great soft hands. Um, again, the fastest guy on the field has to chase him down, Jalen Waddell. You know, if it wasn't for Tyree Kill on the last play, if it wasn't for Jalen Waddell on this play, uh, he would have scored. He would have two interception returns for touchdowns. And, I mean, that puts him on another stratosphere as a player when you have those types of stats. So, great, great ability to play against the pass. Um, one of my favorite things about linebackers is, is their, their coverage ability uh, because it's a passing league. You got to be able to make plays, got to be able to find the ball, got to be able to read the quarterback size. And Foisady can can definitely, definitely do that. So here we're going to see him against the run and against Dallas. And, and you're going to see him here, interestingly, lined up to the strength of the field, but the weak side of the formation. So that kind of gives us a, a interesting look at where he's at here because you see he, Dallas is – they're in their 21 personnel, like fullback, running back, tight end. And kind of the strength to the offense is going to be to the defense's right. And and he's over here on the left side. So interesting to see how they have him lined up here. But um, at the snap, we'll play it through here. He's going to end up getting a tackle for loss here in the backfield. But again, if, if we look at what happens here, like his primary reads at the snap are, are generally going to be when you're lined up in this situation. Your primary reads are going to be these three offensive linemen here. So if you keep your eye on them, you're going to see that the tackle and the guard, they're going to try to double team the end right here. Uh, then the tackle is going to try to peel off and, and block the linebacker. So the primary read says that the, the run's going this way. The secondary read, he's reading these backfield players here. Uh, it's, going to show, it's going to say that the, the, the ball is going to be flowing to the right. 
So the ball's flowing to the right, and basically now what Foisetti's job is going to be is going to be the force player on this edge. So if he can successfully turn the running back back inside, he's got help here, he's got help here, he's got help here. So he's, he's the force player in this situation, right? So his job is to basically keep his outside shoulder free, but he beats it with speed. Now, you can call it a bad block if you want, but he's able to beat this block with a speed, fold back inside, and make a play in, in the backfield. But what's like, like I said, he's super strong. I mean, the guy, I mean, he did like, I mean, I think 20 reps of 225 at his pro day. I mean, the guy can just lay the wood right here. Look at this hit. I mean, look at the pad level is great on the tackle. I mean, his eyes to the sky. I mean, that's what you want to see there in a tackle. And does his job, makes his read super quick. Like, you know, you could, this play has no chance at a backside counter. I mean, just comes in, makes the play. I mean, drives his feet through the tackle. I mean, this is textbook tackle. Driving his feet the whole time, tackling him backwards. I mean, that's the type of play that you need from a linebacker if you're going to stop the run. I mean, the Jags had so many issues stopping the run the last two years, really. And just doing this type of thing and being able to beat the blocks with speed, doesn't even have to engage, doesn't even have to disengage with the right tackle, can make the play and in the backfield i mean those tackles for a loss are huge i mean those change possessions when you can do that i mean putting teams in long second and third downs is how you get your defense off the field and so many times the jaguars were extended drives and staying on the field and it seemed like every third down was like a third and medium and so having a guy that can help in the run and run support like this is just only going to help us and it's just going to really fill a missing need that we've had for so long here so here we're going to see Alukin's ability to disrupt the run game again, right? So here against the Giants, the Giants are in a pretty heavy formation here. Two tight ends, uh, one single back here, and the Falcons are ready. I mean, they have a guy walk down over here. They got, you know, you know eight, eight in the box. You know, they're ready to go against the run. But this is going to be blocked up pretty well by the Giants. Uh, but Foisetti's going to be able to come in and make a play with his, with his, with his talent here, right? Uh, we'll let it play through once. Tackle in the backfield. A great overall play, but let's take a look at what's happening again here. Okay, so he's got his primary reads again. He's he's probably reading this this triangle here as a primary read, uh, and as soon as he starts to see the play flow away from him, now he's got to make a decision, right? Uh, he knows he's got some help here. He's he's kind of a spill player in this situation. Um, he's got help here. You know, he's got help here. So being the spill player, he's just going to pretty much want to force it to the force player. Right. Uh, so when he comes in down with speed, gets there, realizes that he has a chance to, on the cutback lane here, makes a play. I mean, the way he stacks this offensive lineman, the way he stacks this center, the center tries to the center tries to do a little chip here on the tackle and get to the second level. But we say he's so quick, gets down there. I mean, that's the acceleration right here. You're going to see him stack the center. The center has no shot now unless he's going to hold him. Gets in there, again, breaks down, and then brings it. I mean, he has just so much strength that he's able to just tackle backs in the backfield. No one's falling forward in this situation here, right? Anytime he gets his hands on you, you're going backwards. But just his ability to read and react. I mean, he's as soon as the ball snapped and the gap opens up, we say he's there. And this reaction time is what allows him to stack the center. You know, if he's any slower, half a second slower on this read, the center's able to block him. Maybe they have something on the backside there. I mean, you can see if the center gets there. I mean, this play might have been designed for a cutback lane. I don't know. It looks like a cutback lane is open if he can get there. Uh, Boy State, he makes this play. Again, he makes the right reads. Uh, his primary read is right. His secondary read is right. Um, he finishes the play with the tackle, and he's able to make the play in a phone booth. I mean, his ability to move in a phone booth right there, I mean, that's talent. That's talent right there. I mean, he's going <laughs> to, I mean, that's what you got to have. If you're going to be a run stuffer, uh, you got to be able to play like that. Great play. Love to see it. Now, it's no secret to anyone that watches any of the other film breakdowns that I just love athletic linebackers. I mean, I, I, I do. I mean, I loved Miles Jack when he was here. I loved Telvin Smith. I love the way that they play. I mean, I love speed from that linebacker position, but you got to be able to play against the run. So we've seen Foy Sadie be able to play against the run, but also if you dial up a Mike Blitz, he can do that as well against the pass. So here we're going to see him. Uh, he's going to be lined up again in his typical Mike strength of the field formation. Uh, Patriots in a 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end. And this is going to be a play action here. We'll let it play through. Play action, Mike Blitz. Uh, if we say he comes up on the outside and gets a sack. Now, let's take a look here what happens. So if we pre-snap, he's kind of moving all over the place. Didn't get all that on the film. But when he 
when they call the Mike Blitz, whatever it's called, a fire blitz, whatever, like anything like that, he's going to come in here. And with the flow of the play kind of going away from him, it kind of gives him an opportunity to use his athleticism. This is why you want an athletic linebacker, because when plays like this happen, now he's straight line to the quarterback. And when they call this little, I don't know if it was a PA, well, I, mean, I don't know if he's designed to be a sprint out or if this back was, I mean, before the back could even get a chance to block, Foy said he's there. I mean, the back is responsible for blocking any blitzers here. Can't even get there. Can't even get there. Like, just too quick, too fast. Um, the guy is uh, it, it has safety athleticism, but tackles in the strength of a linebacker. I mean, it's the reason why this guy has played himself into the contract that he has. I mean, the guy just got paid by the Jags because of plays like this, because of his ability to be one of the most athletic guys on the defensive field. And when you can do this, it opens up a lot. Like, Mike Blitz's aren't always this effective and coaches don't call them a lot because a lot of times the mic just gets caught up in the wash or gets blocked by one of the big boys on the interior um, or picked up by a back because a back can block a blitzing linebackers blitzing linebackers typically aren't this fast and they typically can't move this quick from side to side so this just opens up your defense to be able to do a lot more stuff um, it allows you to catch offenses off guard it allows you to do things that offenses aren't predicting uh, because you have speed at those positions. So super excited. Hope for the Jags can utilize his speed from this position uh, this way. All right. So the last play I want to finish with uh, for Sadie is uh, you got to show off his football IQ, right? You can't be a middle linebacker. You can't be the middle of the defense. If you are not a big brain football IQ guy. So here we go here. The Saints are going to try to do a little bit of trickiness, right? So for Sadie here in the middle, Mike linebacker on the hash. I like to see it. Uh, the Saints are going to do a little pre-snap motion. Now, they are lined up in like an 11 personnel, but they're real tight. Okay, they're real tight. Uh, if you'll notice here, look at how tight this guy's lined up. He's lined up real tight. This is Deontay Harris. This is return specialist Deontay Harris. So what happens on this play is the Saints are going to try to do a little trickery here, right? They're going to try to flow everything to the right and then bring it back with a little toss to the left. I mean, they get, you know, they get eight or nine yards on this play, but this had big play potential written all over it. I mean, I mean, Harris is a fast guy for sure. And look, when you're a linebacker and you're all your primary reads, your primary reads here, here and here, when you're a mic backer, when they all start flowing this way, it's really, really easy to just shoot down into the gap and to just try to be disruptive. Like, especially when you have speed and athleticism, like Foy Sadie does. Um, he wants to try to get in there like we've seen on the previous plays. He'll try to beat the lineman with speed, try to get to the gap before they can block him, and then wreak havoc once he gets to the gap. But when you have a big brain guy and you're high IQ, um, you get to also watch your secondary reads. So the primary reads all go to his right. But if he watches the tight end and then you watch the receiver here lined up tight, they're going to start flowing the opposite direction. Now, this keys Foy Sadie that he needs to not commit. He's going to put his foot in the dirt, get off of a block, and then he's going to take a great angle. I mean, he defeats two blocks here. I mean, he really does. Defeats one block there, um, then defeats another block there, and able to make the tackle. I mean, this this could have been a first down here, but he makes the tackle and he doesn't get it. I mean, athletic guy. I mean, it, it's crazy because he's so big that he doesn't look like he's moving fast. But, I mean, look how much faster he's moving than everyone else on the defense. And when he gets to his tackle here and he makes the tackle, you can see how athletic he is by just his ability to lunge and make the tackle here. So, got to be smart. Got to be able to do more than just get there with speed and, and be and get there and make a tackle in the backfield. You have to be able to play sideline to sideline. And to see uh, the middle linebacker there uh, make this type of play, it makes sense that he went from safety to outside linebacker to middle linebacker. I mean, he has the traits of all three of those positions um in one so great 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 to see it um lo love to have a guy that can play sideline to sideline like this and uh, look forward to these types of plays here in jacksonville all right guys thanks for watching another jaguars united film breakdown i hope you liked it uh, if you did leave a comment or a thumbs up i really appreciate it um let me know what you think a lucan will do in the jaguars defense and uh, what you expect to see from him this year thank you thank you guys again so much for watching uh make sure to subscribe uh and be looking out for the next film breakdowns as always go jags